If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over a few things here. So, first, going to be heading it over to the pre order screen. I'm going to be going over the best pre order edition to pick because I know it's going to be a quite common question you guys have. You may not have it now at this exact moment in time. But I do know how things go. Right now, you might not be thinking about it. Then in like two weeks, three weeks, when you want to go pre order the game, you're like, damn, which should I get? This video will be sitting right here for you guys. So make sure to check it out. Now, when it comes to pre order editions, it is important that you pick the right one because it's the difference between almost buying two games. You know, a base edition could be 60, and the, uh, the super deluxe or the MVP, whatever they end up calling it, could be 100. And then after tax, you're looking at like 110. You know, you guys know how the prices go on these things. Even with one one Microsoft point card, you know, one thing, and before you know it, you're looking at 120. Or you could always get the base edition and spend the other extra 40 to 60, depending on virtual currency. Always depends on what you want to do there, but sometimes it could be the difference of saving almost the price of the game twice. So you always want to be pretty careful when you pick these pre-order editions, especially if it doesn't pertain to you. So I'm gonna be going over all of them in depth. I'm gonna be giving you all the reasons why you want to do certain things, what type of player you should be, and what scenario in which you pick these. Because they don't always apply to the same people. And then I'm going to go over some Madden 21 news regarding EA Play. That should be happening today around, I believe it's 4 p.m. Pacific time. So it's probably like 7 p.m. Eastern. Could be wrong on the exact time because I saw a few times here. But I'm going to go over the whole EA Play aspect and things. That'll be more towards the end. So guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the new boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And guys, I'll be heading on over right now. Check out the pre-order stuff and stay tuned towards the middle end. So we can go over the EA Play stuff and a little bit of that stuff. But guys... Head on over. But it looks like I can keep my face cam on for this one because, because I'm pretty sure I only cut out a little bit right there, but that's not really a big deal. So we should be pretty good to go in that aspect. But here we go. Your Madden NFL 21 pre-order. This is the this is the base pre-order that you can get, like actually like just like just buying the game. So here we go. Let me just go over what's in it first. So one uniform pack. You'll be able to choose one of three superstar care uniforms. That's cool. One of 32 basically players. So guys, don't get too excited over this, only because these players typically aren't the best. Are they good starting players? Yes. And I will eventually make a video going over the best ones to choose. But for the time being, guys, these cards are okay. Don't get too excited about the names. They're all going to be, they're usually all the same overall, like base 80 overalls. They're good, but don't look at their name and think you're getting a stud. Now, five gold team fantasy packs. Again, these are just, you get five packs. You get to, pick, every time you click them, you pick one team. So I'll make a, a video going over the best ones to choose for this at the later date, of course. Last year was like the Cowboys because Cowboys have the most base elites. But again, pretty good stuff so guys the base edition whether or not you play ultimate team will have that stuff so you're saying when you go base edition base edition is for a few people here so base edition for me is first if you're a franchise player if you're a fran i'm a franchise guy but i'm also an ultimate team guy so i can't call myself a franchise guy i love franchise though but if you're just if you just get this game for online head to head and franchise and you don't even delve into mutt this is the one you want to go you get no added benefit going anything higher if you just get this game every year just because you can and you, you're, you're, you like football in real life so you just get it but you don't really go extensively into anything again basic edition but that's pretty much it on the basic edition because again that's all it's going to apply to now if you do happen to play mutt where would the basic edition apply to you simple if you're a madden guy and you're no money spent and you really just don't like spending money you want the base price nothing extra just go into it and have fun with it Again, this one, maybe not get the extra one because that considers you money spent, I guess, in some people's eyes or in your own eyes, if you believe that spending extra money on the game is the same thing. Or if you guys don't like what it comes with, you can always get the base and just do what you do. Let's say the, the it's $100 versus 60. You can take that a difference of 40 and put that into packs the first day if you really want to. Really up to you guys. But that's pretty much where you apply with this one. Getting over to the second one. This is like the middle tier. This is the deluxe pre-order. This, again, is somewhere right in between. This one, it's usually $59, like $80, and about $79.99, and then uh, $99.99, usually the three. So this one comes with three days early access. So again, I believe if you're a Mutt player, for the most part, you want to at least be going this one. Again, if you guys are no money spent, you hate it, that's fine. But I think you want to at least get the three days early access, because that's huge, getting three days early access. Plus EA access, you can almost play in this game a week up early, which for content creators is very important. You really play the full edition on August 25th. And let's see, again, same thing, same elites, everything applies here. But this time you get 12 gold team fans pack. That's actually pretty big, seven extra. So each pack guarantees you two gold players or better. So pretty much you're going to get a few elites out of these. And again, if you pull any elites. So let's say you end up getting three elites out of these. And my, my prediction will be two to three elites. Okay, wait, let's not sugarcoat it here. One to two elites and the rest are going to be all gold. It's more than likely on an average, an average pack opening of these. And if you open all the same teams, you're, you might have a good chance of pulling one of the better ones. So I think it's pretty cool. Again, my personal opinion. 
Should a franchise guy get this? No. Headset guy get this? No. Should a player get this? Honestly, I honestly think this is the worst one. Now, my reasoning behind this is this. Let's say the the max one, the best one was $200, and this one was $80, and the other one was $60. I'd say, okay, this is the best one because the first one doesn't come with too much. This gives you just a sweet spot, and it's so much cheaper than the top one. But considering the MVP is only $100, for an extra $20 more, you get everything. So, I personally think that this is the worst one. It's kind of like, I don't know, I, I have this issue in life with things that are almost there, but not there, you know, like... A restaurant full service nice food costs you know $25 and you go to McDonald's and you guys order a bunch of stuff and it end up paying $20 I'm like oh wow for five dollars more I could have sat at a restaurant for that price you know what I'm saying like that kind of aspect and that's how I feel about this middle deluxe right here I feel like it's almost there you're spending $80 like you're already spending a fortune on a game you know 80 bucks might as well spend the 100 either way it's gonna hurt your pocket the same except you get everything and you feel pretty satisfied with what you got so here you go. Here's the extensive list of extra stuff you're getting. So here we go. Now, three days early access again. You get in a Lamar Jackson Elite card that I imagine is Nat and his power up. So imagine day one, basically Lamar Jackson, 87 to 88, 89 overall quarterback. You get him day one, probably gets an ability and everything. All that day one. I think that's worth 20 bucks because Lamar Jackson will definitely be worth more than $20 worth of virtual currency or coins, I should say. So in my opinion, I think that's worth it. I think it'll be super fun to play with day one. Is everyone going to have him? Yeah, probably, but it's okay because you're going to have him. And if you're good, you know what to do with him. One large quick sell pack, 1,500, 1,150 training. Honestly, sounds like horrible now, but it's actually a lot of training at that time. An ultimate champion pack, which gets you a uniform. Personally, guys, I'm be honest with you, I don't care about all this. For, for, I mean, for most people, this is more about looks and aesthetics. I don't care. I will rock with any jersey, anything. I don't care about all this. You may. That's good for you guys if you do because then you, you get to enjoy those. Uh, I'm not going to go over that because there's no quite advantage to it at all. And then as we go on down, 17 gold team fans packs. So for an extra 20 bucks, you get a basically Lamar Jackson that if you wanted separately, you probably have to spend like $100 worth of packs to get enough coins for him. You get 17 gold team fans packs, which at this point, I'm thinking you're getting a few elites now. Probably three to four considering the ratio I had before. Give or take. I'm thinking or two to four. Two to four sounds a bit more fair. So you get a lot of packs a lot of packs that's a lot of good starting packs you get a lamar jackson i think you get a good value and you get the top edition and if you buy it if you buy it you get a really cool cover if you want to go that route i do everything digital so it doesn't really apply to me but i personally think this is the best one if you do anything in mud at all if you're a mud player this is the best one if you do not play mud of course go with the standard i think the middle one is just like an awkward puberty phase like it wants to be great and it's just it's just not it's not working out but guys that's pretty much it for this aspect let's go talk about the ea play stuff guys so we're back on the madden screen now as far as the ea play goes ea play typically in person what it used to be was you know you go there sometimes there's nfl players there last year juju smith schuster was there he was playing people uh, in the new madden 20 that's where you get an early look at the game and not like the trailers not like that we get an actual look like if they show it to us how you could see it when you're on EA Play, you get an actual look for how the game plays, like as if you're playing Ultimate Team kind of aspect. I know last year I saw videos of Juju playing with people, and that is where you get to, that's where they give out beta codes, which usually means that beta code should be coming pretty soon, considering, which isn't that bad at all, honestly. I will have no, I would love to play beta right around now, get a little feel for a new Madden. And as far as it goes, EA Play isn't happening publicly anymore, which does kind of suck. Now, I did have plans to go to EA Play. I, it, you know, it really sucks. I had a whole recording schedule for you guys. EA Play, I was going to record a vlog of EA Play, tell you guys all about Madden 21, what I saw, what I felt like. Me and Zerk had a whole plan. We were flying out to LA or wherever it is. I'm pretty sure it's San Diego, LA. I forget, forget where it is. I think it's, I think it's Los Angeles, right? I don't know, but it's over there. We were going to go out there and we're going to get all this footage for you guys and do this whole thing. It's going to be a fun time, but I guess until next year. So I'll see you guys same time next year, Madden 22, with some footage. But EA Play is going to be, I believe, probably live streamed or something. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure exactly where they'll be streaming it on, but definitely look into it because it will be, I think it is 4 p.m. Pacific time, like I said, if I saw that right. Now, I don't know how they're going to how they're going to work this. They may just display it to us as a live footage, kind of like an EA stream kind of thing. But still could be a good time, so make sure you guys check that out around that time. I know EA will be tweeting more about it or Madden, you know. Any of those guys will be tweeting more about as time comes. But that pretty much wraps up the video. So that's the best pre-order stuff to do. Um, EA Play. Just giving you guys general info on that and how that stuff kind of runs down. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That should be the only video. We have nothing right now. Like, I hope we have a new promo pretty soon or something to go with. 
just have a you know a little bit of fun with this game but rookie premier is kind of scary that could be the last thing but let's keep going guys hopefully we keep grinding out and hopefully man 21 comes pretty soon but guys about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe down below give this video a big thumbs up turn on that naughty bell boys and that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out peace